Yo, 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 yo. Just trying to get this stream set up. What's up, Gabe? Shep, how's it going? Z. What's up, guys? Got a freaky bit rate right now. So I'm going to try to fix that. And it looks like it's getting a little better. A little better. Hey, thanks. Thank you, Cooners. And a happy Father's Day to any of the fathers out there. It's been a nice day. I wanted to grill a steak, but it's raining pretty hard. So, oh well. Not going to do that, I guess. But we can open cards. I gotta refresh my live studio. Uh, oh, okay, good. Good, we're back. We're back good. Excellent condition. Everything's everything's going great. So what are we doing today, guys? We've got an extravaganza, I'm telling you. And we've got some electro house type music. We're gonna go this route today, just to just to create that kind of vibe. We've got all kinds of new stuff. Got the prism by popular demand. Panini Prism. I haven't opened any yet. It's going to be a first. I'm looking forward to it. It's a big box, let me tell you. Let me get this tier one out of the way a little bit. But man, that's a big box. Look for hot boxes featuring 24 exclusive red orange parallels. So hopefully, this is a hot box. Three autos. There's going to be 15 prisms, including three silver prisms. Eh? What do you think about that? Look at all this. Here, here's my problem with prism. It's so confusing, and there's so many different things. I mean, look at that. Just dive into that for a minute. See if it makes your brain hurt. And also, it's a 250-card set. So you get 100 base, 100 base tier 2, and 50 base tier 3. So we got to somehow figure that out, too. Maybe over the course of the box. I've got, I've got a few of these boxes to do, not that many. What do I have? One, two, three. I've got three of these total. So the next few breaks will probably feature one of these, the next two. And I've got six more of these coming because I really like Finest. And I think that'll be pretty fun. What's up, William? BMAC in the house. And Skyler. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. You just got done with a great day with your son. Can we give him a shout out? His name is Noah. Noah, my man. What's up, buddy? Noah in the house. Yeah, well, hopefully you get some good hits tonight. You guys can enjoy that. I've had a nice relaxing Father's Day, chilling at home, not really doing much, just kind of taking it easy, trying to get a little bit of sunshine before it went away and turned into dark skies and rain. Not enough time to grill a steak. Can you have a link to the website? Yeah. Check this out. Boom. Three autos on average. Lenny says, three autos. You watched a break with only two. Well, how about four? Can we get four? We'll just get the pre-soak going. Sometimes you gotta marinate for a while. I mean, we don't wanna we don't want Ichiro to get mad that he's getting all the love from Clayton Claus, so we'll switch it up here in a minute. Ethan Levy's card yeah, oh, you know what? I broke my own rule. The rule is you gotta be a member for me to shout out your channel. It's only $1.99. 
$1.99 per month. Come on, that's not, that's nothing. Hit the join button and I'll shout it out. <laughs> or people can just look down, but we got big league too. I did open a box of this with my daughter today. So that was fun. That was one of my father's day gifts. My wife got me some baseball cards, bless her soul. I got two boxes, two little hanger boxes of opening day and a hanger pack of 2019 big league from the wife. It, it's the thought that counts. It was fun to open, open them with my daughter. And I, yeah, like I said, open a box of these. I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I do. It's, there's a nice amount of inserts. There's some cool cards. Those orange, you get an orange card per pack. That's kind of nice, kind of exciting. Something to look forward to in every single pack. There's numbered cards. The autographs are rare. I'll tell you that. I thought the odds were on here somewhere. Maybe it was just a pack. But yeah, the autos, whoo, they are rare. Okay, so Electric City. Oh good, my chat is not freaking out anymore. So Redskin, what up? The garden's great. Potatoes are crazy. Potatoes are crazy. And everything else is everything else is going pretty well too. Um yeah, it's all thriving. We had a little issue with those caterpillars, but we sprayed some organic stuff on it and it helped a lot. And then what else? The carrots, something nibbled the carrot tops, but they're all growing back. So whatever it was is gone. And they're thriving. Everything's thriving. Life is good. I'm going to switch over Clayton over here really quick because Ichiro needs a little bit of love and he's a bit of a complainer. So you got to make Ichiro proud. You got to make him happy. Chris P, happy Father's Day. Thank you, sir. Got some Bowman on Friday and pulled a green shimmer to name. Whoa! Dominguez auto to 99. Nice. Wow. Let's go! Cardstock better than Bowman. Yeah. The cardstock's nice on this stuff. It's a quality card and it's very affordable. Bailey Joe, my man, what's up? Rob's card shop in the house what's going on yeah i'm i don't know i'm i'm kind of looking forward to seeing what we can pull because if we actually do get something good out of here it's all the better remember when we did the opening day did the whole case opening day and ended up with uh what two or three of those robert sps so that was exciting and there's all kinds of other stuff we got a couple cool relics out of there so we will find some stuff i i've decided what i'm going to do with the big league by the way i'm just going to add it here and there because it's so inexpensive that I can just add them to the break and you guys don't even barely feel it you know it's like two of these spreads out everybody gets cards that way and it's so affordable you know it's only like 30 something bucks so it's like a buck a person right around there it's nothing so I thought that'd be fun you know and if it gets out of control with the shipping or something then we'll figure something else out but I think the way I mean the perfect way is to add things like like the lower end stuff like big league or series one or even like bowman blasters to the mix you know get some get some nice little base card action going elkanon what's up redskin you can't even find opening day wow yeah it is pretty wild she said the wife said that it was all cleared out and that was all they had really and the other day she was at Meyer and she said, Hey, I saw the Meyer card stocking guy there and he was putting some Bowman cards out. And I was like, I just like got ready so fast. Cause it's in, you know, it's not that far of a drive. I'll, I'll drive there and look for cards. But by the time I got there, there was nothing. I don't know if she might have saw, she, she apparently knows Bowman, said it was putting Bowman out, but there was nothing. Al Kanan, the newest hitter. What up, buddy? Thank you, sir. Yeah, like 33 bucks a box or something. So it's, it's like a buck a person for the break. You know, it's nothing. And yes, yeah, sports kid, let's see some fire. I agree. Hook me up with some likes. We're going to get randomizing here in just a minute. Let's get those likes up. Let's get at least 30 of them. Come on, guys. And then that way. See, that's like 
Clayton's gravy. It's his feed. It's his feed bag. You put the like bag around Clayton's neck and he feeds out of it. And just gobble, 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 gobble. And then he, then he in turn infuses the luck, but he can only do it when he's been fed. You know how it works. He's a growing boy. It's about that time to clear the stage, get the ram randomizations flowing, get them going, make them happen. It's a little, it's a little bare back there. You can't really, you can't really see. I just have a few, just a few of those blasts. That's all I have left are the Bowman blasters. So I figured they could make a nice appearance. Okay, here we go. 621 Sunday Fun Day Mixer. Alrighty then. You know how it works. We're going to the teams. We grab a hold of the teams, snatch them right out of here. Oh, we don't even have to do that anymore, remember? <laughs> I guess I don't remember how it works. We're doing it three times. One. It's so much easier doing it this way. Two. Randomizing this way. Three. It's so much better. Popping them down. Got the D-backs leading off. Kind of funny. Buy-ins. I'm going to get them out of alphabetical. And then roll the die. Just in case you guys didn't know, I try to upload the buy-in list. If I can get it, if I can like get it all ready in time, I'll put it on the strikerbreaks.com website so you can go there click on the link it'll take you right to this spreadsheet make sure you're in there if you're not in there email me or something no nicholas that's it buddy six we're randomizing six times how exciting six times can you believe that one two three four Five and six. Chad P on top with the Diamondbacks. There we go. Let's put them in order. There we go. Okay, guys. Here it is. Diamondbacks, Chad P, Braves, David H, Orioles, Jared M, Red Sox, Tim M, Cubs, Nicholas A, White Sox, Glenn N, Reds, Brandon M, Indians, L'Oreal, Rockies, Tony M, Tigers, Skyler M, Astros, John C, Royals, Aiden T, Adrian T, Angels, Robert H, Dodgers, Mason C, Marlins, Jeffrey P, Brewers, Lenny, Twins, Cubby, Mets, Skyler M, Yankees, Eric M, Athletics, Skyler M, Phillies, Chad P, Pirates, Lori O, Padres, Mason C, Giants, Tim M, Mariners, Jeffrey P, Cardinals, Brian T, Rays, John C, Rangers, Josh J, Blue Jays, David B, Nationals, Brian A. Good luck, everybody, and let's go! All right, let me get the link for you. Copied. And paste it. One last thing. One last thing. Gotta print mine off. Boom. No, I haven't played The Last of Us. Pretty sick. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate that. But I did I did play a little Warzone today and I got a second on solos. So that was pretty exhilarating. It's no win, but I'm happy with a second. Boom, here we go. Okay, I'm printing my copy off and I'll be right back. Let me put a couple things on the screen so you don't get bored.
It's a dance party. It's a dance party. Woo! I'm excited to open some new stuff. Are you? I'm going to need your help. Actually, you know what? I'll need your help in a minute. Get ready and start thinking about what one you want to do next. Because I'm going to do the big league first, just as a appetizer. We got the tier one, prism, finest, and FOTL. So just start marinating. Don't, don't say it yet. Just start thinking about it. Just start thinking about it. <laughs> Card collect. Okay. Okay. Now. I'm not even, you know what? I'm just gonna do a quick ching, 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 ching. There we go. I think I'm gonna open all the packs and put them on the stage. I'll do that first and then we'll open. So there's two little stacks here and a gigantic piece of styrofoam in the bottom. To make you think, you're getting more than you actually are. And you might say, I thought it was for protection, for protecting the carts. And I would say, who you kidding? It's just like the potato, the uh, potato chip bag trick. You saw someone pull an auto out of here? Yeah, I'm hoping that we'll get one. I got a whole case of this stuff, so we'll go through it all. I already opened one for myself, off camera with my daughter. I might open another one. That might be a fun little thing we can do every uh, once in a while. We'll open up a little box of this and see what happens. Okay, so we got the two boxes. Box number one, box number two. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, hard to hit autos, that's right. I don't know much much about football nothing actually i know nothing about football football cards that is i mean not nothing it's not like i'm i'm your grandma you know i know a little bit more than your grandma i gotta get my list stacked up ready to go there it is Three boxes big league, you got an auto. Dustin May out of 99, nice Smokey Joe. Got a little Brennan McKay there. Oranges, I like the oranges. I like that. The Solaire flipping out. The oranges are pretty sweet. I think I'm just gonna make a little stack of them for now. No, oh, there's a Jordan, okay. Good Jordan, right off the bat. John C's got the Astros. Oh, yes. Tatis. So I think you get one out of like four packs, you get one of these. Here, let's look. Let's look. There you go. Looks like one out of four is a lot of those, but look at how hard the autos are. Oh, boy. I mean, actually, that's not that bad. One out of 78, that's not that bad. I thought, see, I was looking up top there, like one out of 3,000. So, it's better odds than opening day. Got that Tatis, what is this, caricatures or something? Yeah, star caricature reproduction. Cool, that one's going to Mason. And the other orange, Josh Hader. Tommy's Breaks, what up? Happy Father's Day is right. Thank you. Nice little trout there. Defensive Wizards. Going to Robert H. Got the Keichel Orange. Never know, maybe we'll pull an auto. The award winners cards are kind of, kind of different. Kind of, I kind of like them, but they kind of also look like that backdrop makes it look like an old person's drapes. Justin Verlander, orange. Got the Keston roll call. Let's get those likes.
likes up. Come on. Get them up. Let's, let's, let's get the likes to the concurrent viewers. That's a good goal. Every time that happens, fireworks, I'll tell you. Fireworks on the stage. Vladdy flipping out. Oh, look at that. It's a good one. Pujols. Pujols Orange. Uh, the real Ben, the brakes are on strikerbrakes.com. Strikerbrakes.com. I don't have any listed right now, but I just, I let the patrons know when I do list one. So they swoop in and buy them up. But if you happen to be on the website or something, you can, you can join. It's available to the public. They just, so, they sell out really quick. Vladdy Jr. And the orange Scherzer. Yeah, this is a good one to, to open with the kids. I had a good time with my daughter opening a box of this earlier today. She's getting a pile of cards, I'll tell you what. Ian Desmond, orange. And the Miggy. Wow, that is, does not look like Miggy, unfortunately. It's probably a kid that did that, though, right? Rich Malinelli. Hopefully that was a kid that did that. Tatis. Can't wait to see Tatis play again. Hopefully it's going to happen. His head is that big. Yeah, his head is... His head really is that big, so that part was good, but... Just the face. George Springer, Defensive Wizards. Hey, we got an auto, yes. Yes, Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman autograph, ladies and gentlemen. Big league auto. Going to Skyler. Very nice. It's a little bonus. A little bonus number right here. A Matt Chapman autograph. Can you believe it? Got a orange Musgrove there. Hey, look at that. The Jordan MVP. Or, um, Jackie Robinson Award, sorry. Look at that. I haven't seen that one yet. We didn't get one of those in, in the box. You feel like Chapman has tons of autos in here? Another Jordan. John C. Got the Schwarber getting drenched in sunflower seeds. That's funny. Trout award winners. Always pulling that fire. I know, isn't that wild? <laughs> Random opening day box. Here's an auto. Not opening day. Big league. Vogelbosch orange. And the Shohei roll call. Yeah, those are nice. The roll call, the word winners. The design's nice. I like the, I just, I don't know, I like it. Nice border around there, rounded edges. It's nice on the eyes. The flipping out's not bad too. Randall Gritchick. Orange. Yeah, 60 games, I get, yeah. That's what it's seeming like. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, uh, Trey Mancini. Going to Jared. And the Acuna. That's a nice card. I like that. The orange Acuna. Nico rookie. Put some stands out here. The 
it's like it's like priming the pump. You get the stands all ready to go, primed and ready. Sorry, just organizing this stuff a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I'm ready. Oh yeah, I got a lot of stands, buddy. Enough to fill the stage, but sometimes we even run out because there's so much fire. I don't know if there's SPs in here. Big League Best. And the Geo Defensive Wizards. It's a pretty cool one, too. Shohei. All right, we got a couple packs left. I think I might open up something else, and then we'll do those next ones. Just for a little bit of... A little intermission full of hits. Something like that. Roll call. Oh, that's sweet. The Orange Trout Award winners. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Going to Robert H. Clayton does his job again. And... Hey, hey, Tatis. Making an appearance. Flipping out. <clears throat> Blake Snell. We got Carrasco here. And Jonathan Scope. Going to the Tigers. Bryce Harper flipping out. Bat flipping. Yeah, I like that top piece. Verlander Award winners. Got the LeMayhew caricature. Last pack. Got the Vladdy Jr. there. Bo! The Bo rookie. Going to David B. Look at him. Having a great time. Bo! Scott Kingery defensive wizards. And Will Smith. The next Bo Bichette. According to Nonsense Logic. Alright, that's that. I'm going to leave those packs there and let's get into something else so it's not too overwhelming. I was thinking let's just bust open this tier one real quick. Get three autos out of the way. <laughs> out of the way. Three glorious, glorious autos. Like the three best. The three best you can get. And do a thorough, thorough job. Stash, my man. What's up, Stash? Just in time for the tier one. What will it behold? I don't know. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use some good luck. My purple Luis Robert finest that I just pulled. I love that card. The more I think about it, the more I love it, too. Because last year in the Topps Finest, I didn't get any good color. And I opened a whole case. So this makes me happy. So if it makes me happy, hopefully it'll make you happy. Let's do this. We use the Robert to cover up the glory of, of the next card. You've, yeah, oh, these are awesome. These tier one are awesome. You know, a lot of people don't like the fact that it doesn't have a bunch of base cards in it, you know? And I get it. And that's kind of part of the reason why I like Finest so much is because you get, it's a combination of not too much nonsense and some good stuff. You get the two guaranteed autos and probably like a parallel or something. You know, I don't know exactly how rare those are. You probably get at least one parallel per box. So two autos, one sweet parallel, and the rookies hold a, a reasonable value, the good rookies. So that's why I like Finest. <clears throat> but in this, you get three autos. Or is it three autos? I just threw the box down. 
No, this is two autos and a relic. That's right. Two autos and a relic. So it's a little different, but. You hit a Pete auto in tier one, eh? That's, aw that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Cut that up. <clears throat> card number one. The only problem is with a, a card and a top loader, loader, it doesn't really work out too well. Hmm. I might have to use a different one for the next one, but here we go. Another Victor Robles. Didn't we already get one of these? I think we got a gold ink Victor Robles. Going to Brian A. I gotta use a smaller card. Hold on. Let me grab. Um, I'll just we used we used this one. So I guess we're using another Louise Robert. Why all the Roberts? Because they're the closest card that I can grab. My Robert collection. So I'm gonna put the cut card in here so we don't see the next one. There we go. Victor! What you think about that, Brian? Digging it? There we go. Card number one in the books. How about number two? <clears throat> I don't really know how, how these are oriented. This one looks like it's upside down. It is. So, flipper upside down. He's got a helmet on, that's a good sign. It means he's a batter. It looks like a C for the Cubs. Looks like a C. This one's going to Nicholas. Nicholas A, here you go. It's a Jason Hayward relic to 395. Jason Hayward, ladies and gentlemen. Put the cut card back in here. Jason Hayward. This is a job for a thick sleeve. Pre-cut? Oh, I must have used it. These are beautiful too. Sleek. I think sleek is a good word to describe them. Rob's card shop says go Cubs. Alrighty. The last card. He's got a bat. I see a bat. Everybody can take a deep breath, a deep sigh of relief. As we reveal more of whose bat it is. Just who's bad? Is that another cub? That's another cub, ladies and gentlemen. This time, it's Robel Garcia. It's an autograph, numbered to 299. Going to Nicholas. Congratulations, Nicholas. He's now enshrined in the Striker Hall of Fame. Okay. Now that we got a few hits out of the way, let's go back to this big league. And then we've got, so this is the last bit, last of the big league, and then we've got all gravy after this. Top's finest box. You guys get to vote on the next one, okay? It's gonna be finest, DK, or prism. Scroll through these a little quicker this time. Chris Paddock, nice little orange. Suarez flipping out. Not the best box. At least they're all batters though. So yeah, right, you know? You could get some Yamamoto autograph or something. There's so many that you could get that, are, that, are, that you would not want to have. Longoria, caricatures, and another orange trout. 
and lucky with the uh, the trout color. I wish those were numbered. That'd make it really nice if those were numbered. Even if it was like to a thousand or something or two thousand or whatever. Who knows how many there are? Five thousand. I don't know. Ten thousand. Whatever they have to number it to, just number it. You know, it would make it all the better. Is it really that hard? Charlie Blackman defensive wizards and we got the batting leaders batting average leaders there so the way these work is it goes to the person on the left if there's doubles then I I go across to the middle and then to the end and also it goes from the top down if there's ever two autographs or two relics or whatever or multiple players on a card All right, what's gonna be good here? We got that Acuna, got the Will Smith, and the Biggio. Going to the Blue Jays, David B. Nice little orange number there. Got the, is that Robles? Roll call? Yep, Robles. Corey Seager. Yeah, and card collector, all card ship. But if it gets out of control with this big league, then I might hold some of them back, but not for this break. Like in the future, if we do a bunch of big league in a break, I'll make it really inexpensive. And then I just, I won't ship all the base, but I'll just give everybody like a stack of cards, you know, just to make sure everybody gets a stack. However, however I can fit, however much I can fit in the packaging. But for this one, all card ship. And like 99.9% .9 of the time, all card ship. I've only done one and it was opening day where I didn't ship all the cards because it was just outrageous. I still have a box of opening day sitting here. I was going to donate it to my daughter's school for the kids to just dig into and have them. And, well, you know what happened with the world. Austin Meadows. Caricature. And a Joey Votto orange. Hey, look at this! Look at this, Nick Solak. It's like a, it's a black and white number to 50. That's a nice little treasure going to Josh J. That is a nice treasure right there. I wanna see how hard that is to pull. Black and white, one out of 75, okay. One out of what, a couple boxes? How many packs, 24, like one out of three boxes? It's a nice card. Yeah, we'll put that on a stand. It's worthy. And another trout highlights. Been pulling some trouts. So Robert's probably pretty happy with the fact that he got the Angels. Out there in Cali. San Diego fan, but I'm sure he's okay with the Angels too. Contreras flipping out and a Nelson Cruz. Orange. Shohei. eBay one of one. That's right. One of fifty. eBay one of one. Good call. Oh, there is a nice Acuna. Something about seeing one of those cards, it just feels feels good, like a little different, I don't know. CC the orange. I like how they did this. I'm impressed with Big League, considering how inexpensive it is to get a box of this. Like, it's a pretty enjoyable opening. So this is the third box I've opened, and I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I'm not feeling like, oh, this is stupid. You know how some of the really low-end stuff, you can, you can feel that way, maybe. Bellinger. This stuff actually is nice. Kino. And a Trout. Another Trout. It's pretty loaded with good players, too. Checklist seems to be pretty nice. Now, I don't know about value. You know, there's probably not much value to it, unless you get auto or numbered card or something like that. But that's pretty much the case with most things. Anything that's 
priced like this isn't going to be crazy, but man, with opening day, that, that Robert rookie has, has held on to some value. It's pretty interesting. So I wonder if there's going to be a card out of here that is coveted like that. What's up, Parker? There's a Jordan rookie. Got the roll call for Kepler. And Molina. Going to the Cardinals. Brian T. All right, got a few more packs of this. If you guys want, let me finish this. Finish this pack here. Cole Hamels. Wow, he looks strange in a Braves uniform. Peralta. Yeah, he's a pretty nice Molina. Redskins wants uh, FO2. Yeah, go ahead and put that in the chat, guys. So, what do you want next? Finest. The DK FOTL or Prism. Put it in the chat. We're approaching the end of the big league and we need to know what to do next. Your input is essential in this decision. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing now and listen to me. Put it in the chat. William wants FOTL. Fritz Meister wants finest. Papa wants finest. Kepler. Rob wants finest. We got a we got a rat race on our hands here. A regular rat race. Danny Santana orange. Finest. Oh boy. Another Jordan award winners. Lots of good rookies in this. Anything just rip it, says Parker. DJ Explore, finest. We got a lot of finest votes. A lot of finest votes coming in. Bo Bichette, rookie. Is that two of these? Two Bo rookies, nice. Will Myers and another Nelson Cruz. Orange. Devers flipping out. Dash wants FOTL. We got another finest vote. Guys, unless there is a flood, it's going to be finest. Unless there's a flood of votes. Unless a bunch of people want to pile on with Stash. Go to the FOTL. And Redskins and William. Soto. Caricature. And Zach Wheeler. Orange. Cooners wants finest. Two left. I kind of like the backs of these two. Normally I don't like the color on the back because of grading purposes, but I don't know if you're gonna get any of these graded, so it's probably not as necessary, but actually they look to be in really good condition. Like the card stock is really nice and all the cards appear to be fairly centered. These ones, I mean, not everyone. It's tough to get them all centered, but Look, like they're holding up. Arenado. Another auto! Whoa, look at this. 39 of 99. Jorge Polanco. 39. Of, let's just say that's an eBay 101. Eh? Three nines in a row? What do you think? <laughs> you can call anything that. Very nice. Going to the Twins. Cubby. Look at that. That's sweet. Gotta start pushing everybody back and making room. And an Orange Peralta. Bailey Joe, welcome to the club, my friend. He has just become a hitter. Everybody give Bailey Joe a shout out. Check out his Twitter. Always posting on Twitter. 
What do we got? What do we got? Orange coming through. Brian Reynolds. Going to the Pittsburgh Pirates. L'Oreal. And we got the Acuna Junior Roll Call. Glorious. Okay, well, you guys know what? I believe finest one. So, coming in, boom! Hello, Ichiro. We're gonna give each individual mini box its own special Selig and Clayton treatment because I feel that it is appropriate. I feel it's appropriate, I feel it's necessary. Just all that out of there. Ring it out. One more time. Okay. Clayton was sitting on here for a while. He's going to do it again. If you guys hadn't, seen, if you haven't seen the stress test video yet, because this, that's what this reminds me of the stress test. You got to go check it out. I don't know how to find it. It's, it's back a few months, but I put a bunch of cards in these boxes and just destroyed them destroyed the boxes and the cards were fine i mean these seriously this is so sturdy i ran it over with my car i did and nothing happened they were fine so they really go the extra mile all right on to the high you know this is just these cards are so nice they're thick Look at that, the Mike Trout, the man. That's a sweet one. I love that. I love the colors of this. These things are too plentiful though. You get like four per master box, I believe. But that is awesome. One one pulls. So it's, uh, I can't remember what I, I think I called it Bowman, um, is it Bowman Stress Test? It's a, it was back a few months ago. I think the cover is me standing there with, with the bill hook or something. I used the bill hook and beat the crap out of the box. I hit it with a golf club, hit it with a wiffle ball bat, threw it out of a moving car and then ran over it. Ichiro, finest careers. Nice. And followed up by a Freddie Freeman refractor. Going to the Braves, David H. Four of them per, per box, yeah. I really like this stuff. It, if you open up a whole case of it or more, it can get a little boring because the checklist is so small. Oh, look at this. Oh, discount trout, ladies and gentlemen. Discount trout, blue to 150 auto. Robert. Robert, if you're in the house, shout out in the chat, man, because that is sick. That is a nice discount trout there. Also known as Matthias. It gets one of my rare 55 point sleeves. I've got so few of them left. That doesn't feel like a 55 point. Let me try this one. I think that was, I think a regular one snuck in there. Yeah, this one's better. But these ones really, these ones really need uh, these thicker. I mean, you can cram them into a smaller one, but. The 55 point are a necessity. Oh yes, the bow. I didn't even see bow. The bow refractor, rookie refractor next. That is also very nice. Once again, I tell you, that case I got last year, I didn't get any Tatis, Alonzo, Vladdy, Eloy um, refractors. So that is, that is very nice. I like to see that. The refractor bow, David B, crushing. Got the Aquino rookie. This is a nice box already. I think this box is already better than mine and we have hardly opened any of it. I definitely would have switched it. Mine for this one, if I, if I had the choice. Soto and a Soto 
Ki boom. Key boom, sorry. Nice little card there. Finest duels. Another one that would look fabulous with an autograph in there. Wait, you want me to wink? Wink, wink. What's up, Christopher? Robert H. is in the house. What's up, buddy? Bailey Joe likes the bow. How about this Yordan? I like that one. And we got a green coming. Nice. This is a nice box. We got a green. Who's it going to be? Knowing this box, it's probably going to be a freaking green Yordan or something. Nope. Oh, a Bellinger, though, to 99. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Mason's like, yeah, love it. It looks good. Like normally the greens are down on the list of parallels of desirability, but this one actually looks really nice with the blue, the white, and the yellow kind of squigglies going through. It's a nice looking card. I'm gonna put it on a stand because I like it a lot. I want it to be right there. Bellinger, Shohei. Yeah, the, refract the refractors do look very nice. And, oh, this is the box. The bow, the man. The bow. David B. Crushing. So I bet you if you got a case, you'd probably get all of those then, right? The man, the complete set. That's kind of... I think that's how Finest usually does it, is you get like a full set or, or very, very close to a full, a full uh, master set when you, get a, when you get a case, if I recall correctly. All right, good luck. Mini box number two, the bow show is excellent today. We got two autographs out of the big league. So that's special. Kyle Lewis, finest. That one is going to Jeffrey P. And the Dylan Cease, the man. And the music keeps pumping, keeps moving us forward at a good pace, a fun pace, keeping the vibe lively. I love it. It's a nice little change up. Rizzo. Bryce. Get the likes up so we can keep the luck flowing. That's how it works. If you haven't hit like yet, just... <gasps> we got a one of one! What a box! What a box! AJ Puck going to the A's. Skyler! Skyler! Look at it. Wow. I wonder if Mark B's here. I think he was keeping track of the one of ones I pulled. I think we got to be at like seven. Boom. Boom. William, you called this. Dude. Oh, man. That is nice. Let me get a one touch. Ready to go here, too. Ready to go. The one touch. Ready to go in it. This is sick. Sick. Put a little sleeve on top so there's no rubbing around. Perfect fit. This part's always a little bit tricky. You gotta get it just right on. There we go. And there we go. Boom! Bam, baby! That's the first time you've seen one, B-Mag? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a little while. All right, man! Let's go! It's awesome. It's been a great break. Every break with the hitters and slammers 
is great. Mike, the man. I think I pulled that one. Nice little Vladdy there. Running full speed away from a pack of wild dogs. <laughs> Doesn't that look like it? He's like, ah! Uh, Brandon, what's up, buddy? Did you see it? Did you see it? Just got a 101. And the auto is Bobby Bradley. Bobby Bradley going to the Cleveland Indians. Lorio. Congratulations, Lori. I think, I don't know if that's a refractor. It looks like a refractor. I mean, it's got that shine like a reflect, for refractor, but I think all of them look like that, all the autos. Got to do something about the lack of 55 point. I, I just don't want to spend like $20 on a box because they're outrageous, and if you can find them, that is. There's the refractor. It's a Nico refractor. Nicholas. It's a Cubs kind of day. There's already two Cubs hits and then that refractor. It's going well for the Cubs today. All the autos. Yeah, late night breaks. Yep. Carrasco and Biebs. I'm so jealous of the Indians pitching staff always. Nice, the Robert. That's a sweet one. Glenn, got yourself a Luis Robert, top's finest rookie, followed by an Acuna Jr. Well, this is fun. Let's keep it going. What do you guys want to do next? Real quick, real quick. First person to put in the chat. That's what we're doing next. First person in. We'll see how long the delay is. I think it's about seven seconds. Maybe a little longer today. Come on, guys. There we go. Brandon says prism. Okay. Yep. It's a little longer today, the delay. Sometimes it is. Started off with a bad bit rate. I think that can slow it down a little bit. Okay. We're going to do another raw sweep job. Rinse it out. Rinse the mop out. Do it again and start the soak. So why is this so big? Are they are they playing games with this box too? Let's find out. Are they play They're playing some games, but I do like this actually. I do like this little this little setup here. That's fun because this box is weird. It's a weird shape for a box of cards. It just seems enormous, and then you open up. It's like oh, that's the trick you're playing. This much spare on the side, and oh, and on the bottom. We got excess on the bottom too. Look at that. There's a solid. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's like, look at that. That's a easily, what, two inches? So I like the trick. I'm on to your games, Prism, uh, Panini in general. I'm on to your games. Can't trick old striker. I knew there was going to be some kind of madness going on. So if you want to look at this, and go mentally insane, feel free. I won't be. All right, let's check all this out. So you guys know Prism, known for its parallels. Okay, we got a bow right off the bat, love it. These are nice, thick cards as well. Shiny, good quality. Prism puts a lot of quality into the, their, uh, Panini puts a lot of quality into their Prism cards. That is very, that's very nice. The, the standard prism just really pops. See that? Moustakis for Cincinnati. So that's going to BMAC. Kirby Yates. Does every pack have a red? I think it might. Kirby Yates. And Aquino. My one knock, like a lot of people love this stuff, but it's not one of my favorite Panini products. But I do know that like 
it's growing and growing in popularity, the prison baseball. And it's getting like more and more expensive as it, it remains credible in the baseball card market as it grows in credibility. All right, what do we have here? Something cool. Charlie Blackman. Brilliance. Look at this. Number to 149. Going to Tony. It's a cool one. Got your Red Stanton. Cody Hosey, top of the class. Nice young prospect there for the Dodgers. I like the I like the pack. The thickness of the pack. The amount of cards in here, even though they're premium cards, it's like for the finest, they're they're similar card stock, and you get less of the finest, but the finest seem to have less of the, the bend in there. The prism have more of a bend. Finest take, took a little more care, I think, in looking after that bend that all the chrome and prism cards have. The fireworks prism for Altuve and the Shinsu Chu. That one is not numbered, just a regular blue though, going to Texas. Josh J. Three autos in this. Yeah, the zebras are are the yeah the snake the uh, snake skin. That's right. Yeah, snake skins are the popular ones, right? Or zebras, whatever they are. Let's just get one. What do you say? I mean, we could easily just pull one out of one out of this too, you know, because the, all these cards are from different places and stuff. So, I think that's why. I pull so much fire because I get it from all different places. Like if you just open a case, you're only getting like a case worth of hits. But if you get them from different sources, you're not guaranteed a hit, but you can get more. Here's a green. Fancy looking green there. Chris Bryant going to Nicholas. That one's numbered to 125. What do we have here? This has got to be an auto. It is Domingo Leba. Going to Chad P. I guarantee when Chad P saw his name at the top of that list with the Diamondbacks, he was just like, oh, great. Diamondbacks. I'm not going to get anything good. Then he got an auto. Never know. He might get a Zach Gallon auto too. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Now it's going to come. Alberto Mondesi. That's a gnarly looking insert right there. I like that. Graphics on there are really cool. Scorching. It almost looks like surushing. Suruhing. It kind of looks like sorohing. Nelson Cruz, numbers game. See how clever they are? They put the three backwards. Pretty clever. And the Prism Trout. Is that what it is? Is it a hot box? Look for hot boxes featuring 24 exclusive red orange parallels. Are these the red oranges then? So did we get a hot box? That would make sense. Red orange parallel there. That's pretty cool if we did. Peter says, You got skunked on eBay last week. You ordered a FOTL Diamond Kings and the guy sent you a regular box. Oh, what did you do? You can get your money back for sure. This must be a hot box, yeah, because these reds, apparently, they're not in every box. Or, well, they are for us in every uh, pack. The AJ Puck prism. That Got that Bryce. Got the red Bryce. And Andrew Vaughn, top of the class. I like how prism has some of the prospects in here, too. I do like that. They're filling the niche 
pretty nicely. Oh, 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 see, I didn't read all the way. You got the Glaber, <laughs> Glaber and Bichette quad jersey auto. Wow, okay, I guess it made up for it. It would have been it would have been nice if you got you got that and he gave you a refund too to cover up to cover the cost for like the extra 70 bucks or whatever it would cost. So two special ones in a row, the Polanco to 175 going to Minnesota, Cubby. And then this illumination blue, that's a sweet looking one. Just a regular prism. Or maybe that's just a prism, not blue. I don't know. Either way, that's sweet going to Chicago. What do we got? Warming the pen, instant impact, Bryce Harper. Pretty cool. Oh, Kikuchi made it in here. I've been not seeing him a lot and be I've been happy. Happy Father, thank you. Happy Father's Day, Brandon. Soto red would be decent. Yeah, it would. It'd look nice. It would look it would look nice. Okay, this is another autograph here. Let's hope it's something spectacular. Hold on, just sorting a few of these cards on the side. There we go. Okay. gonna flip her like this this way okay are you ready yeah yeah good call Peter it's Jesus Lazardo Jesus one of the two between him and Puck are gonna be good right the A's are crushing for Skyler. Another hit. Back to reality. Yeah, something about the pack feels know what the word is premium i'm thinking premium but that's not quite the right word i'm looking for it feels and special isn't right either maybe premium is the closest word we have in the, Eng in the english language brad keller blue craziness to 175 looks like a mojo refractor doesn't it? <clears throat> and the Keichel. Yeah, these ones aren't numbered. It'd be nice if they numbered them. Like the purples in the hot box for uh, Heritage, those should be numbered. Just number them high, whatever, whatever it takes. Soto. People appreciate the numbered cards. Brandon says, I bought a 2016 Heritage High number today and got a hot box. Purple chrome, black refractor, a mini, and an uh, action variation. And an expired redemption auto. Oh, no. That's the one thing about those old cards. The, res the expired redemptions. Donnie Walton. Donnie Walton prism. Going to Seattle, if you didn't know any better. And an Aaron Judge blue. So the, it's, the, it's the mojo blues are the numbered ones. These blues are not numbered. That's a little confusing. Acuna Jr. Machines. Two more packs left, guys. Got a Lux on the back. That's nice. That's nice to know. This feels like an auto probably in here. Sliding around like there's an auto. Or something. 
So this is the X-Fractor design in tops, and it's Travis Demerit. Going to the Tigers. Let's see what that's numbered to. We'll see what that's numbered to right after we look at this auto. Flipping it around. Ding, 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 ding. Jonathan Daza. Jonathan. Daza. Okay. This one, by the way, was numbered to 75. Not familiar with this guy, but you do know how I feel about bunting on a baseball card. So, sorry, Tony, but I don't like it when players are bunting. Why has it got to be another Colorado guy? They did that with Brennan Rogers, and by they, I mean Tops Chrome last year. Nobody, nobody bunts. Nobody bunts anymore. But look at that thing. Dante, what's up? guy back there what do you think about the Fair, Fairfield products eh if there's like absolutely nothing else then they're okay but the the prime packs are good Gavin Lux the prime packs are good because you can get like some Bowman and, and like higher end stuff But the regular Fairfield boxes where there's just like a bunch of loose cards in there and you're guaranteed one hit, one out of four has a hit or whatever. I'm not a big fan of those really. I have a few. And like they're fun and there's something to do. You know, that but if you get if you gotta put them on a scale of what's the best thing to open and what's the worst thing to open, they're probably in the bottom quarter, bottom like probably the bottom like three percent of the things that you can open as far as getting good stuff another one of these reds Brett Gardner going to the Yanks last pack we got our three autos already go here we go it's a fancy red flarity that looks really nice with the red and the red you don't even notice it doesn't have logos on there look at he's got i don't know what's up there is that a new era logo number to 99 going to brian t pretty cool marquez those ones aren't numbered. Got the Vladdy Lumber Ink and the Stargazing Altuve. They should call it Can Banging Altuve. All right, that's it for that. One last box, and it's going to be a good one. That was dangerous. Could have knocked some cards over. First off the line, Diamond Kings. Let's go. Come on. Bowman Sapphire is coming out this week. How do you get that? On the website? I'm going to have to call up tops because I am still not able to access their website. Yeah, isn't Bowman Sapphire after Bowman Draft? It was Bowman Draft Sapphire. Last year. So they're having a regular Bowman Sapphire online. Wow. Okay, here we go. FOTL. We're looking for the good stuff. Low numbered hits. Wood frame parallels. Right off the bat, we got a Chris Bryant. Purple. Cunha. Artist palette. I think he means regular Bowman as far as regular Bowman Sapphire. 
not draft. Cal Ripken Jr. Who you, why are you looking forward so much to Series 2, Peter? Help me to understand. Other than Robert, it's tough to get super excited about Series 2. Just because it's like, okay, well... Wow, that's a real thicky right here, guys. And I'm definitely going to get some, but I'm not going to do a ton, ton of Series 2. Ticking around. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, yes! Number tough. Five. Look at this thing. Going to Seattle, Jake Fraley. But wow, that is. We got one of these before. Two of five. Look at those patches. Very, very nice. Multicolored patches. I mean, guys, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors. That is a very nice patch. It's a nice card all around. Real thicky right there. That's one of the better, I mean, it's not a, a name, but as far as hits go, it's a nice hit. Number to five, two really low hits tonight. Low numbered hits. We got a one of one and a card number to five. Holy cow. Let's keep them going. Keep the hits coming and keeping them flowing. Come on. Mendick, of course. The 3000 Club, George Brett. Yeah, that's a nasty one. Good luck with top support. I know, Don Zeus. I've been working with them for since Bowman First Edition came out. I've been working with them for that long and they haven't been able to solve the problem. So that's not good. Might have to go over to a friend's house or something when they're coming out. Tyrone Taylor. Ty Cobb. Bob Feller. And even then, how disappointing would that be if I had to go over to somebody else's house to try to get them and then I failed and wasted all that time? Hey, we got an artist proof too. Number to 49, Trey Mancini. Pretty sweet. Going to Jared. So it seems like you don't get one of these numbered ones in every box. Maybe like every other box. You get something kind of low numbered, like an artist proof or the, the glossy. Those are both pretty low numbered, or lowered. Less, less than a hundred. <laughs> Old Danny Mendick with an appearance. Yep. Keston. And the Vladdy Daddy. Yep. Well wishes to Trey Mancini. Yeah, they get first dibs, but there's still some left for the rest of us. As far as the sapphire and all that. At least there was last time. But if you I'm gonna if if you guys hear about when the Montgom the Montgomery Club thing is for next year, let me know because I missed it last year and I want to get in on it. So we got the Robert. Pass that by, kind of. Yeah, so I had uh, a box of Top Stadium Club that was pretty badly damaged. There's a video of it. Last year's Top Stadium Club, so it was probably in July or something. It's pretty badly damaged. I mean, like, just all around in rough shape, you know. And I called them immediately, and... 
it took about two months to get an email back from them. Like initially there was a back and forth and then nothing for like a couple months. Jalen Davis frame. So yeah, they're they're the worst. They're certainly the worst. But who knows? It's worth a try. I need to be able to buy cards off their website. All right, we got the wood frame. Number to 13, it is Larry Walker. Another Colorado hit. Not only did Colorado get Jonathan Daza, but they got a Larry Walker wood frame. Tony. Panini, not much better. Actually, like, no customer service is very good. There's probably a couple companies that are okay, but... You know, they outsource all of it. You can barely understand what the person's saying if you're lucky. But it seems like Tops and um, Panini at least was, you know, at least you could understand what they're saying. Okay, here we go. What is this? So this is probably going to be a Relic Auto. It's a good sign. It's a thicky. Let's hope it's something spectacular. Here, let's flip it around the other way. That worked last time. We got a Luis, or we got a Jason Dominguez auto when we came around this other way. Tick, 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 tick. Another discount trout auto. And look at how nice it is to 15. Two of them. Matthias. Wow. Okay. Angels, Robert. Robert is in the chat. He was earlier, and he is jumping around. <laughs> jumping for joy. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look how nice those patches are, too. <sighs> wow. That's the FOTL for you. This is the FOTL for you right here. Like, that's the kind of stuff you get compared to the regular. Like, but the regular has good stuff, too. So, but, I mean, you have to pay, like, twice as much for the FOTL stuff. But I think it's worth it. Maybe. It's really tough to say. They, it's priced, like, the market priced it pretty well to where it's, it's, a, it's a question. But at least there's two tiers. So, like, maybe you can't afford the $150, $60 box. You can drop down to the $70, $80 box. And you're still going to get two hits. Yeah, that's a sweet looking card. Alright guys, this is the last pack. And then we'll check out all the glory. Aquino. One Soto in the zone. There we go. So, let's start in the back. The very first one we got was this Matt Chapman auto out of Big League. And we got a little wild with the tier one. We got the Victor to 299. It's the second Victor we've pulled out of tier one. The other one was the Gold Ink. Got the Jason Hayward relic to 395. And we ended up with two Cubs hits in a row with the Garcia to 299. And look at this little number out of Big League. Not bad. Nick Solak to 50. The black and white. Digging it. Then the Polanco out of Big League. Two autos out of Big League. This one numbered to 99. 39 of 99. You know? Pretty good. And might as well show both of these at once. Two glorious discount trouts. 1 to 15 and 1 to 150. His signature even looks like it could be Mike Trout. Could be. I mean, it doesn't look like the actual Mike Trout, but if you didn't know and you saw the M and the T, you know what I mean. You get it. Cody Bellinger, green. Beautiful green to 99. Pretty exciting. The 1 of 1. AJ Puck, one of one. The next Randy Johnson, they say. 
That's what they say. And they is, that can be anybody, right? If you ever heard one person say it, you can just say, that's what they say. Little rhetorical trick there. Bobby Bradley, auto, rookie auto. Beautiful Tops Finest autograph. I had to put this one on the stand because I like it. Travis Demerit to 75. Pretty nice little hit there, I think. Got the Trey Mancini. Feel better, buddy. To 49. Jake Fraley. Look at that thing. Out of five. Can you believe that? That thing's so cool looking. FOTL exclusive. Jonathan. I'm just going to call him Jonathan because it's like Jonathan. Jesus Lazardo. We got two Oakland pitcher autographs. Or, well, big hits. We'll just leave it that way. And the Domingo Aleba. Arizona hit. That is all, my friends. This was fun. This was really fun. Next week, we'll do some more. I don't know when. I don't know where. I don't know what. I'm going to leave it as a surprise for both of us. Me and you. Strikerbreaks.com. Check out the Patreon page. Become a slammer if you want to get in on the breaks. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Father's Day. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later.